and also you can take advantage of our 23 online churches wow 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 which are available in all the major languages of india and apart from that we have three special churches one is for teenagers called tufani and gyani teens one is for children online children church and apart from that we have a special program for deaf and dumb apart from that you can watch them in odia telugu tamil gujarati kannada tullu english hindi chhattisgadi rathuri bareli assamese marathi punjabi nepali konkani malayalam sindhi bhojpuri bengali and in malwani thank you god bless you Rejoice in Him. I rejoice in Him. 
Libra alamanto rozon de lere bozo koto la batati raba ahrekete. Rabanda tita la bo o sokro o lamante. Rabanda tita rabande le bozo konto la masha bra azete. Libre el monto ramanta tita la quita la bra azekra el lebete. Libre el monto la manta libra azekra el lebeta. Libre el monto rozon de le boto la quita la bra azekento. Libre azanda le monto la bashaza kete. Aza canta tita la boto libre el boto ramanta le kente. Libre azekra le boto ramanta tita la bra azekonto. Libre azende le bocho soto la batatia ha. Libre el monto la manta le rezekente. Rabanda tita la boto la basha bra azekr el leboto o ribra azende renze de lokoto rabakara bra alebete ribre le monto ramanta tita la bra azekonto o ri aza azakr el lehete rabanda tita la bro ozokonto o ribra ala hata tita rakoto la bra azekr el lehete ramanto toti rabaha ribra azakante oh thank you Lord thank you Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We pray according to the scripture, O Lord. Rebre esendo robo shozo do la ba arahante. Rabanta tita la bra asekre le boto rabanta tita rabaha. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our prayer second prayer point is: We are going to pray for our mission, one billion hundred crore souls. Reach out by 31st December 2021. We are praying for the increased grace. We are praying that effective doors of ministry are open to us. We have ever increasing ministry. All our structures are effective, and we are reaching out to lakhs of people each day in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Pray that power of God is working with us according to the prophecies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah so we are going to pray according to the prayer point let's pray rabanta tita lebro ozon de lebo shozoto labra azeke rabanta tita labra ale bende le monto rakata titru ba azeke rabanta tita labra ale bete la mato libra ala manto rozon de lekete rabanta tita rakoto lebre le boto rabra azeke to rabanta tita labra azeke te o rabanta tita labra ale bondo rokoto la batati rakoto lebre le bat Ibre le monto rozon de le rese que te rata tia ha. Itre ele boto, ribre le bonda la manta tita la cata lebre le bonzo coto la bata tia. Ribre ele bote, rabanta tita la coto la bra azeke le boto. Ribre le manta tita la rajante, razata tira coto ro contra alebre ele bete. Rabanta tito rozon de le rese que te la basa cata tia ha. Ribre ezende, razo o zocro o la bote lebre. Le bande, ramanta tita rakoto, rebre le boto la manta libre esando rosso koto rabanta tita yaha, libre esecr el le bote, rabanta tita la bro ozondo la masa azacante, ramanta tita la bra azoto lebre le bete la cata titra ale bete. Oh, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you, thank you, Father. Let everything be done by your will and in the name of Jesus. So shall it be, O Lord. Rebra azina lama sakanta le batati rabote. Rabanta tite lebre ele botu rakita labante. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are still praying and our today's third prayer point is, we are going to see book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come until the knowledge if the truth pray for the unsaved families, friends, neighbors to receive salvation and that they come to the knowledge of the truth. Pray that they are receiving Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So we are going to pray according to the third prayer point. Let's pray. Rabanta titra ele bonda raba sakata. Ibra azende le monto labanta tita le rezekete. Rabanta tila bra azokur ole bote. Rabanta tita rabande le besekoto. Ibra le boto la manta libra azikr ele bete. Rabanta tita rakoto la ba zeketo rabanda. Ribra az 
sonda la banda lebra el coto ribra alamando rosso coto la banda tita labra azeke o ribra azonda la manta tita yaha i crele boto labra azene le manta tita yata tioto o toto no rakete raketa la banda tita rabata rebra azonde le seketo ribra el manta tita rakata lebra el secre le boto ribra le manta radira banda tate rebe azakra ale bete rebre le monto ramanta tita rose e secre le bata ribra la manto raza a secre e zende rabanto to rabre e le boto rabata tiata i crele bondo ramasa kete raza a zacre e le manta tita la boto rabra ale mete la manta tito ya hakia i braza a zacre e le meheke e kete te rakita i crele boto rabanta tita lebre e zote Oh thank you Lord thank you Jesus oh Lord ribra ele bonda raza ke lebra alamando ribra azita rabando yes oh Lord Jesus we pray oh Lord and we give thanks for each and every thing oh Lord for this 1 million project oh Lord yes oh Lord each and every door is open for our ministry oh Lord yes e rebanda ti treba lebra ascendo raba ale Ribra ala boto rakin te leba aha. Yes, so Lord, every prophecy that is done for us, so Lord, has been fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, so Lord, every work that you have given, every project that you have given, has been fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, so Lord, we are reaching out. 10 lakh sales so lord 10 lakh souls so lord in each day oh lord rebra ele bonda ramanta titra ale bese kro lo bonda yes oh lord we pray for all the people oh lord for all the souls oh lord for their salvation and yes lord each and every soul is receiving you as their lord and their savior oh lord thank you jesus oh lord thank you father thank you for today's service oh lord thank you jesus we pray this prayer in the mighty name of jesus christ amen Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the time for praise and worship. So let's call our worship team on the stage and let's rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit, I worship, I love you, you're my help, my standby. Oh, 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 Holy Spirit. 
be thought by you. You are my wisdom and my peace. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit, I worship you. My help, my stand, my advocate. Holy Spirit. Worship you, Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Rhapsody of realities is that daily devotional that prepares you for the day and also prepares the day for you. Today's reading by Pastor Chris Oyakilomi for Sunday, the 17th of October, 2021 is Be Bold About Him. Today's theme scripture has been taken from the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 16, and we're reading the scripture from the message translation which says, It is news I'm most proud to proclaim, this extraordinary message of God's powerful plan to rescue everyone who trusts Him, starting with Jews and then right on to everyone else. The Apostle Paul was passionate about the gospel and proclaimed it with all passion, boldness, audacity, faith and conviction. In Romans chapter 1 verses 16 to 17 he said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jews first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. If you love Jesus, you'll be passionate about his message and about serving him. Praise the Lord. If you truly believe that the message of the gospel has changed your life, you'll be bold to speak about it openly. You'll be bold to reach out to others with the gospel you've received. Never be shamefaced about Christ, the message of the, of the gospel, or your identity with him. At every opportunity, preach the gospel. Hallelujah! You might say, I don't know what to say. Begin with your testimony of Christ, how he changed your life. Talk about our inextricable oneness with him his liquid and unconditional love for all, his grace, his mercy and kindness. Be impertinent about your love for Jesus. Don't be ashamed of who you are in him and don't let others make you ashamed of what you believe. Jesus said in Luke chapter 9 verse 26, For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels. If you think Jesus changed your life, you have to be bold to talk about it. Be bold to express it. Be bold to tell others what Jesus Christ means to you and what he's done in your life. You are a witness of who he is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it's time for prayer, so I invite all of you to please close your eyes, lift up your holy hands, and please pray after me. Dear Father, you are gracious and kind. Thank you for your steadfast love that never ceases, your faithfulness that's ever sure. Thank you for your grace, the grace of salvation, that's upon all men and for the courage, 
guidance and leading of the Spirit for all your children as you preach the gospel today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now for further study regarding today's message, you can please read Matthew chapter 28 from verses 18 to 20 and 2 Corinthians chapter 5 from verses 18 to 20. If you are following the one-year Bible reading plan, today you can read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 to 17 and Jeremiah chapters 1 and 2. If you're following the two-year Bible reading plan, you can read John chapter 6 verses 22 to 29 and 2 Kings chapter 3. Thank you so much and God bless you. Alexandra Sefia Kiyode. I'm 34 years old. I'm from Delta State, Nigeria. May 2020, I was feeling um, symptoms of malaria, just like dizziness and stuff like that. So I treated malaria normal. But um, when it didn't seem to get better, I had to treat typhoid, you know, I was treating and suddenly I noticed I became very dizzy. I was getting very weak. I couldn't walk. I was off balance and stuff. So I went to the hospital. You know, it got to the point I couldn't coordinate myself properly. So I started having spots on my palm, on my feet but they could not come up with anything, nothing. All the tests came out perfect, normal, everything was fine. You see, to the point I couldn't even walk again. I was now on bed. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't walk normal. I'll be on the bed. I couldn't help myself to the toilet. I couldn't get up. My mom literally did everything for me. So, you know, if at all I tried to get up, I'm using my feet, I stagger, bend. Either I'm bending forward or bending backwards. Either I'm bending forward or bending backwards. I was just taking medicine, getting weaker and weaker by the day. It wasn't improved. The medicine, you know, the side effects left me feeling even more terrible. The condition grew worse and worse. I wasn't getting better. And my sister told me about the um, Healing Stream Life Healing Service that was coming up on September 18, 2020 to um, the 20th of September. So I was excited. I knew that it, there was a turn, a turn around, you know, something was, would definitely happen. So while I was watching the program, my faith was stirred up. One of the ministers said, do what you couldn't do before. The first thing I did was remove my glasses because I use glasses to, um, I'm sensitive to light. I removed it. I was still watching, watching. He said, no matter what you are feeling, no matter the pain, he said, do that thing you couldn't do before. I was like, okay, yes, I can do it. I got up from the bed and I started, I started walking. He said it was an evil spirit causing it. It has left you. I just, I saw someone doing that around the room. That devil has left you in the name of Jesus. When he said it, my head just clicked that. Yes, it really left my mouth. It is happening. I just started shouting, Mommy, Mommy, something left me. I said, It left my mouth. And you know, they said, Testify. I called him. I was so excited. Even the person on the line, you, you just see the love, the excitement, you know. And I slept fine, without pain, for so long. I slept like a baby. Now I can walk, I can talk. I couldn't 
talk for long. I can talk. I'm full of joy. You know, I can sit. I can sit for long. Like, <laughs> like now, I'm sitting, I'm here. So, I want to say a big thank you to Pastor Chris, man, my man of God, for this platform. For you've changed so many people's lives and including mine and i'm very grateful my family we are grateful thank you so so much i love you so much thank you we have the life of god which cannot be cut up it cannot be cut up because church was not supposed to get sick ever church the message of the message to the church is that they have divine life praise the lord Jesus said, not mine, but thine be done. Do you ask God that what you are doing, should you be doing it or not? Many don't have that consciousness. God wants you to live according to his will. Bible says, those who are living, they should not live for themselves, but to him for, for, for who died for them and who has purchased them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for children. I speak health, I speak healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. I command that demon of darkness to leave them in the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. I command those unclean spirits to come out of them in the name. Forever you will be the lamp upon the throne, and I gladly bow my knees to worship you alone. I bow my knees and 
worship you alone forever. Forever you will be forever. The lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knee. Ah, yes, I bow my. Worship you alone, you alone, Lord. And worship you alone, God my Savior. I worship you alone. Yes, alone. I worship you alone. Forever you will be. Forever, forever, forever. Rock in Hindi. Somebody once said, after everything I know, the situation has not changed. I said, don't care. But the next question will be, what you know is that? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, there is so much to learn in life. And you should be a student throughout the life. That the best thing, the best thing, the whole person. Uh, first of all, this time 12 says, who is this scripture? First of all, this is 12. He said, Where would I think that into this end, take you less than all? He said, Me that never think that you know too much, that nothing can happen. So we would like to have into this kind of take you deep as we go. So this principle is telling us so much to be learned in this life. So much. So we cannot let our guard down and think, oh, nothing much is left. There has to be an effort time. Insecure effort time to learn. Insecure effort time to learn. Take your mind to learn all the time. Use your mind to learn all the time. I trained my mind, in fact, when I was doing my engineering, one day, one of my, in those days, the best friend, no longer best friend, is yet to become a Christian. So, my mentor kind of a person. So, like, I was in third year, he was in fourth year, he took me aside. I said, why do you use your mind all the time? Why can't you allow your mind to sleep? I said, what else should I do with my mind? Shouldn't I use it? I created that appetite long back that I want to learn every time from everything. Praise the Lord. Because I came to know I knew too little. And there is so much to know in this world. Praise the Lord. Next scripture I want to see 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. 2 Timothy. It says study to show thyself approved unto God. Study to show thyself approved. So what, what does it mean approved? Get a seal of approval from who? Not from man, from God. So God has to approve. He has to give you his seal of approval. David had to get that seal of approval. David had the opportunity to kill Saul. Saul was in his hand. 
but david has to get that approval of god so when he got the opportunity to kill saul he did not touch saul because he studied and according to the word you cannot touch the anointed and left untouched you will be dealt with and that's where his kingdom was established you read the bible carefully these were the approvers god was looking from him so study to show thyself approved unto god and there is no other way that you can be approved of god apart from the study of the scripture so studying the bible is not for pastors alone because that's the idea people have oh my pastor reads bible i only go and tell him what to pray for me so i keep moving around i keep watching movies you know eating friends place and i tell my pastor to pray for me that's his job in our church our job is cut out our job is to enjoy the life and pastor job is cut out he has to pray for us so while we are enjoying we are safe i say you are stupid what it says study to show thyself approved is it written that pastor has to study approved all of us had to get the approval because the higher things of life will not be not will not will not will not be open to you you will live a lower life you will play at the lower level somebody said why to play with pebbles when you have the ability to move mountains praise the lord <laughs> for many christians are playing with pebbles when they can move the mountain is it not so god give me a job i say when you can be a job creator boy you are looking for a job aren't you playing with pebbles when you can create move a mountain oh my heart is paining i say you who can create a new heart praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah so don't play with pebbles don't play with pebbles when you can move mountain then i tell you i can if you cut my hand i can grow it you say i'm joking if i can grow somebody else think what i can do for myself i can do it but it will not happen unless you go into the study of the word of god god has to approve you god has to know that what is inside you and he will give you a test to test your character study to show thyself approved unto god not unto man there's a message by pastor chris prevailing prayers and in pastor pastor in that message taught us he said we prevail with god first then the world if you do never listen to that message go and listen to that you remember isaac i isaac was bible says isaac prevailed with god that's what we mean everything is about you, you and god if everything is right between you and god don't worry his truth is a buckler and shield praise the lord hallelujah god's truth is a buckler and shield do you know what does it mean god's truth is buckler and shield pastor chris told us if you protect the anointing anointing will protect you praise the lord <laughs> if you protect the anointing on your life don't think you are not anointed didn't you read the bible the anointing came on you in use not on you in you when the holy spirit came how much do you protect it how much do you protect it that's the question your friends came and say okay let's do some nasty things and you went you didn't have protect the anointing in you you should have protected the anointing in you how could you go their way didn't you read your bible don't be deceived bad company spoils a good man didn't you read it how could you go to the wrong company it's not about us it's about him study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needed not to be ashamed what is telling you that if you will not study the word of god one day you might be ashamed being a christian you can be poor being a christian you can be on a sick bed is why is 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 for me shame i cannot be sick is it's just not possible even the sickness knows this is not possible all the demons of darkness knows this is not possible by size they know me enough they have tested me enough praise the lord my god has tested me enough and i've come out with flying colors praise the lord every time praise the lord tell you never study 
study but this kind of deep knowledge will not come if you don't study you will only listen 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 it will not help you but there is so much we can't tell you in church there is so much you can only only learn when you sit under the tutelage of the holy spirit and the tutelage of the word of god when you are a student of the word of god when word of god can teach you he becomes your teacher a workman you are a workman i am a workman a workman that needed not to be ashamed a rightly dividing the word of truth rightly using the word of truth you know not many people use the word of truth in the right way they use the word of god for their own benefit that is what the perversion of truth forward mouth king james language praise the lord <laughs> forward mouth they use this lang you know for themselves say study to show thyself you have to prove do you understand it's an exam of life and who is the examiner god god has to test you that does not mean he will test you with sickness or poverty do you understand because many people take it differently praise the lord but god will create the situation and he will like to know what how did you react did you react the right way hallelujah a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly say rightly is your responsibility how can you be calling your pastor for every decision you want to make so you have to grow up praise the lord rightly dividing the word of truth are you with me so today we are starting a wonderful study and uh, <laughs> i believe is going to help us hallelujah is going to help us a lot uh, because of several reasons uh, so we are going to do the study of the book of proverbs chapter 8 and 9 okay that's the study we are going into and our focus in those two chapters will be wisdom say wisdom so our focus will be wisdom for so many reasons i will show you the scriptures why our focus is going to be wisdom praise the lord so let's read the first scripture proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 wisdom is the principal thing if you know the language and language means anything to you this is a heavy statement but that it could be written wisdom is principal thing wisdom is a principal thing but the language is wisdom is the principal thing it is making it definite it is telling you what is the principal thing is a board accounting word you know in the principal amount when you start principal amount he say yes wisdom is the the principal thing he is telling you in every affair in every business of life in every area of your life the first thing you should be looking at is the wisdom is wisdom because wisdom is the principal thing not money is the principal thing praise the lord <laughs> hello or some people money is the principal thing for them money is the principal thing no money is not the principal thing but that's the way it has been taught to us so everybody goes after this money bible says wisdom is a defense and money is a defense but wisdom can save you without even if you have money so you must know what you have to get after it's a wisdom is the principal thing say wisdom is the principal thing wisdom is the principal thing and therefore get wisdom wisdom will not come to you you have to go and get it is like lambanoing it you you make an effort you go and get it but this is what you need for life wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom get wisdom not education because sometimes the education which is being given can fool you more i hope i'm making sense we have to what to do <laughs> this is the world we have come to where everything has been manipulated to suit their purpose praise the lord i hope i'm making sense hallelujah wisdom is the principal thing praise the lord therefore get wisdom tell you never get wisdom and with all that i getting get understanding so getting is not enough you so you must have understanding 
you must have understand you cannot say i don't understand no you must get understand next 45 get wisdom get understanding tell your neighbor get wisdom get understand get it it will not fly get it you have to go and get it get wisdom get understanding forget it not say forget it not How many of you remember A B C D? Ah, uh, you are no nobody knows I am. You know A B C D. So that's what he's saying. Forget it not. You can't forget what I taught you two years back. He said, I don't remember what Pastor taught two years back. I said, Who told you to forget it? Why did you didn't forget A B C D? Why did you forget what I taught you? Because you thought it was not important. A B C D is more important. One, two, three, four, five is more important. Password is more important. So get wisdom. Forget it not. You can't forget it. Hardly people remember. I too can tell you where Pastor Chris said what, in what meeting, what color of suit he was wearing, which side of hand he had the Bible. I can tell you that picture. I picture. I can picture that one. I can tell you where God gave me the revelation of this scripture. What time of night? I have those details even in my mind. Hallelujah! So say, forget it not. Say, forget it not. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. You can't forget the word. Make the word. I'm giving you some my deep secret. When I read the word, I make it one with my spirit. <laughs> God, what is this spirit? I make it one. I chew it. I say, you will not leave me. He said, any time I need you, you will come up. When I read this scripture, I say, this scripture will remain in me for life. Any time I need it, you will have to come to surface. I'm not going to lose you. Why should I read my Bible and forget it? What's the point? Get wisdom, get understanding. Tell your neighbor, get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not. Tell your neighbor, forget it not. So I hope you will not forget it. I'm just giving you my personal life secrets. When I read the Bible, how I read the Bible, I said this one will remain with me. And so, Lord, you are the author of the Scripture. You will teach me the Scripture today. You will let me see what is behind the Scripture today. Help me to understand the way you wrote it, the purpose for which it was written. Let me get that understanding. Praise the Lord. Get wisdom, get understanding. Praise the Lord, and forget it not. What? Neither decline from the words of my mouth. So tell me about get wisdom. So as I said, we are going to do the study of proverbs, and the focus will be on wisdom. So I am still teaching you why wisdom. Why wisdom? Let's see the next scripture. Proverbs twenty-four verse three. It says, "Through wisdom is an house built. Through wisdom, not through money. Through money you can build the walls, but not the house. Through money you can marry somebody, but you can't. You to make the marriage work, you will require wisdom. This is what you need." And wisdom is not in the word wisdom. You say, "Oh Lord, give me wisdom." You can pray this prayer ten thousand years; nothing will change. Because wisdom is the word of God, and wisdom is doing the word of God. Simple. Praise the Lord. <laughs> What we just read last Sunday, you know, James, don't be the forgetful hearer, but the doer of the word. That's all it is. That's all it is. You follow the direction, which is in the Bible. Hallelujah! You live your life based on the word. So through wisdom is an house built, it, and by understanding it is established through wisdom. How many times people have this focus? People have this focus. Praise the Lord! So are we ready? Okay, let's see one more scripture which I didn't show them. Proverbs seven four. The reasons we have to look for. Wisdom in Proverbs eight and nine. 
Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. <laughs> close relative. Kinswoman means close relative. You say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding your close relative. The way you know your sister have relationship with wisdom. Praise the Lord. So let's start Proverbs chapter 8 verse 1. And by God's grace we will reach where we reached in the morning. Praise the Lord. It does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. I love this. So it does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. What he is telling you that wisdom can be seen everywhere and anywhere. Nobody can claim they didn't know what to do. He said, was not wisdom crying? Didn't you know what to do? How can you say you didn't know what to do? He says, was not wisdom crying? Wisdom is there everywhere. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? Oh, you, how could you make that mistake? Question is, does not wisdom cry? Where was your senses? Where were your senses? How could you miss it? In the midst of all these signs. Praise the Lord. Wisdom is there everywhere. Let's see verse 2. She standed at the top of high places. By the way in the places of the path. Again he said. Is there everywhere? Hello? He said it's everywhere. It's everywhere. You can't miss it. So don't make an excuse. Oh, I didn't know. I said, what? It's not possible. There were signs. There were signals. You just ignored them. Praise the Lord. There were signs. There were signals. You ignored them. Hallelujah. So she stand at the top of high places. By the way, who's talking? Who is our speaker? Wisdom. Am I right? Who's the speaker? Wisdom. She standed in the top of high places by the way in the places of the past. So kings cannot say. That's what it means. Kings, oh we didn't know the right decision to take. His wisdom was there in the high places. It was there with them. Why didn't they take the right decisions? It is there everywhere. On the street it is there. On the mountain it is there. On the high places it is there. Wisdom is spread everywhere. So nobody has an excuse. Next verse. She cries at the gate, at the entry of the city, at the car. He's everywhere. Wisdom is saying, I'm everywhere. Can't you see? He's I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm crying at the gate. I'm crying at the entry of the city. I'm at the coming or at, in, at the door. He's I'm everywhere. Any step you are taking, I'm available. I'm available. How can you miss me? Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Hallelujah. So, it is, it is there everywhere. She cried at the gate, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the door. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. So you understand? Wisdom is not in the word wisdom. Do you understand? This is what called wisdom. Affairs of life. How do you deal in your affairs of life? How do you have, do you deal wisely? Praise the Lord. Let's go next. Unto you, O man, I call and my voice is to the sons. So he said, I'm calling everybody. I want everybody to be wise. I don't want anybody to be stupid. He said, that's my cry. I want to be embraced by each and everyone on the face of the earth. I don't want anybody to be foolish. That's his desire. That's the prayer of a prayer of wisdom. Praise the Lord. <laughs> this is wisdom praying. Wisdom crying. Unto you, O man, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. Next. O ye simple understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. He said, No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. Oh, ye simple understand wisdom. And few fools be ye of understanding heart. Praise the Lord. He say, I'm wise. I'm wise. I know in church there is a ministration, isn't it? So we are not only talking about wisdom. Wisdom is coming to you. Praise the Lord. You know how the, how the ministration goes on. So you are becoming more wiser. 
becoming more wiser we have to become very smart very smart what demons are very smart demons are intelligent being they are not stupid they are in front of us they are stupid but in their own sense they are not stupid they are intelligent beings so christians cannot be stupid either the o e simple understand wisdom and remember study to show thyself approve next here for i will speak of excellent oh lord i love this how do you know the friend you have is wise person how do you know whether you have become wise hear them out he say here for i will speak of excellent thing anybody who talks stupid thing cannot be wise praise the lord He said, "I will speak excellent thing. A wise man will not be found abusing on the road, quarrelling with everybody. You don't know the guy can abuse from morning till evening. He is very wise. No wisdom is there. For wisdom speaks excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right thing. There will be nothing wrong. Praise the Lord. Are you with me?" So I'll speak of excellent thing, excellent things. So friends, you have do they speak excellent things, or they talk stupid things? Let's try. Let's today we will try vodka. Tomorrow we will try uh, 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 this dating pill. Tomorrow we will try this. We uh, only try heroin. One day we will try. These are excellent thing. Be with them. They will take you to hell. They are already on their way. i will speak of excellent things and the opening of my leg shall be right things do they speak right things or they just want to have mischief all the time praise the lord can you see this how do you decipher the friends to make the advices to listen is it an excellent advice he said my my husband is having a affair he said you also start a affair very beautiful stupid advice is it an excellent advice but that's what happens in the world outside i hope i'm making sense and then we become a we fall into trap i can't be trapped i'm too wise to be trapped not because i read or i'm a gold medalist because of the wisdom of the word which i have you can't trap me from where will you trap me i will not listen to you I know whether you are wise or not. The moment you speak one line, I know who are you. Whether I should be your friend or not. In one statement, I have read you. I don't need a lie detector test. I don't need any palm reading or face reading. In one statement, I know who you are. So, don't be don't be afraid of me. Don't worry. But for my own checking, praise the Lord. Somebody can speak to me one line. I say I know. At least I know your character now. Is enough. I will not judge you, but at least for my own sake, I will keep that information with me. So when I am dealing with you, I deal with that level. Praise the Lord. Next, for my mouth shall speak truth. Oh God, can you see? Wisdom speaks truth. So you practice speaking truth, because wisdom speaks truth. and wickedness is an abomination to my lips wickedness you stop being wicked my mouth shall speak truth so you practice truth just because your job requires lying does not give you the license to lie he said no we are advocates advocates only lie who told you who told you Why did you choose that way? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? So our mouth shall speak truth. So wisdom speaks truth. So wise people speak truth. So if your friends are always found lying, <laughs> this friend is not wise. Get away from them. Some people can't speak simple truth. They are so addicted of lying. not everybody has a lying spirit but if you keep talking if you keep speaking lies lying spirits will get hold of you and then even if you want to speak truth you won't be able to speak truth 
is a truth of life pastor chris spoke about it even in last your love word so if you keep lying you are inviting all the lying spirit to enter you and make you a certified liar and you won't even know when you are speaking lies because they have gotten hold of you now praise the lord are you with me but people don't know such simple things and they end up being stupid for so my mouth shall speak truth my and wickedness is an abomination to my lips was it all the words of my mouth are in righteous can you see this there is nothing forward or perverse in them nothing they are so pure they are so holy nothing nothing stupid comes out of you say i'm wise i'm wise nothing stupid comes out of me praise the lord hello that's why i tell you i can't work for anybody who i'm too wise you can't handle my wisdom i'm too transparent i'm too transparent for even a businessman according to their standard i say you too transparent i say yes that's the way i like my life to be i don't want somebody to walk up to me and say you told us this price we say i don't want i'm a pastor how will i defend myself when somebody i cheated in business enters my church he say pastor you cheated us what will happen to my ministry it will not fold in one second and boy i preach online live meeting is going on whole my ministry will be folded up in one day so i better don't make mistakes next they are all plain to him that understand it and right to them that find knowledge can you see this if you are wise everything will be plain to you you can understand it so easily nobody can deceive you they all are plain to him like i'm singing this song and i can give you the wisdom am i right but they are plain to me it doesn't take me to get revelation i just lift my hands and i get revelation i don't have to pray for 20 hours to get one revelation from one scripture i can preach for 5 days after reading one scripture for 5 minutes god will show me to ah so yes my son go preach praise the lord they all plain to him that understand and write to them that find knowledge next receive my instruction and not silver oh boy receive my instruction and not silver and acknowledge rather than choice gold when is the time to church somebody is calling please come and sell 10 kilo rice to us you will earn 400 rupees you go to church receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold this is the choice you make this is the choice i made long back i don't do any business in my church time I can miss billions I can miss it does not matter to me I don't even think twice because I know when at the time of church I'm doing something I will make mistakes It might not known to me now but down the line I will come to know I made mistakes But that was not my my time to do business it was my time to be in church Wisdom of God will not guide me praise the Lord Are you with me? You do not guide me, because receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Verse eleven. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. And I will close with twelve. This is this is sweetest scripture you will come across. <laughs> this is the scripture which has been my meditation for years, and you will see the wisdom of it in my life. because when i first got across it i said lord jesus is it really there i said oh, come on this is there means all i ever wanted i can still be just by reading bible because i wanted to have the maximum i wanted to have so many invention in my name like einstein i wanted to patent 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 that was my desire So when I read this scripture, my eyes lit up. I said, "God is there." Praise the Lord. <laughs> Verse twelve. He said, "I have wisdom. Dwell with prudence. 
and find out knowledge of witty inventions praise the lord hallelujah witty inventions so you can be an inventor a scientist <laughs> is i wisdom dwell and find out knowledge witty inventions means useful inventions that is the meaning of witty invention useful invention you will not be come on i do you understand what is mean he say you can you can be an inventor you can be an inventor you can just make discoveries you can just make discoveries is a knowledge of witty invention witty invention you can be wise very wise hallelujah hallelujah lift your holy hand thank god for all you have learned for the wisdom you have received <laughs> wisdom you have received bran shathele entra katharu mantra la itala mantele bo shatila la rabantele ba yes o lord Lord is saying wisdom is coming to them. Knowledge of witty invention is coming to them right now. They will do great and mighty things. Yes. I will unveil my word to them like never before as they read their bible. And they will be known as a symbol of excellence in their world. Thank you Father. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. This is their portion. Symbol of excellence. Manifold wisdom of Christ. will be seen through the church this is my time and they all will show it they all will show it i'm increasing the knowledge i'm increasing the revelation and my children are receptive to it he says yes thank you father thank you thank you lord thank you thank you thank you this is so such, such a wisdom as they have read that word with the invention they will make purposeful invention which will make this world a better place to live in true sense not the invention which will be used for the destructions of the world thank you lord in jesus name amen hallelujah if you are here for the first time we like to welcome you for being here with us and if you're watching us from anywhere and you are watching us for the first time we want to specially welcome you Thank you for joining with us and we hope and we believe that you could learn beautiful things but again you have to take an action you have to receive Jesus as your lord and savior so that this whatever you heard you can experience it praise the lord so wherever you are uh, close your eyes and repeat this prayer after me believing it in your heart I, i will say again you have to take an action don't just listen to me close your eyes and whatever i say repeat after me so that you can receive this god's love if you don't receive jesus you can't experience god loves and you will think nobody loves you and that can be disastrous because everybody needs to know somebody loves him praise the lord and god has proved that love by giving jesus christ for us hallelujah so there is no doubt in our mind that god loves us praise the lord so just close your eyes wherever you are And repeat this after me. Say, "Dear Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I believe that He died on the cross to save my soul, and You raised Him on the third day from the dead, and He's alive forevermore. Today, I confess from my mouth that Jesus Christ." Son of the living God is my Lord is my savior I'm born again I'm saved Thank you Father for saving my soul In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen Praise the Lord Hallelujah So can we clap for them wherever you are so Once again we welcome you and before we move forward we like to pray with you Father in the name of Jesus I pray for your children O oh Lord who have given their lives to Christ i pray that the name of jesus is named upon them forever devil has no claims over their life yes father i bless them by your wisdom by your grace by your understanding by your love and by your spirit o oh lord they are protected in their going out in their coming in o oh lord 
in Jesus mighty name we pray amen praise the lord hallelujah this is the time to be more wise with your finances time to give the lord your tithes your offerings your partnership that's the wisdom of the scripture regarding our finances if you're watching online be wise give your offerings god bless you and let's invite our choir hallelujah we are perfect in him ha bless his name lift your hands and sing yes we are complete we are complete in him oh lord we bless your name let's sing we are perfect in you in you we bless your name we are complete in you we bless your name perfect in you we bless your name we are complete in you we bless your name for upon for upon us is your glory and your name It's a beauty and your love For a mother It's a glory and your grace, oh Lord For a mother It's a beauty and your love From glory From glory hey, hey, hey. To glory God is taking us from glory to glory to glory. God is taking us higher. He's taking us higher, higher from glory to glory. From glory to glory, Lord is taking us. From glory to glory to glory, to glory, Lord is taking us. Higher, He's taking us higher. Glory to glory, hey, hey. higher. He's taking us higher, higher, higher. From glory to glory, from glory to glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, honor, exalt you. There is none like you. Thank you for the opportunity and grace to bring our ties, our offerings, our partnership unto you. They are sanctified, O oh Lord, to be acceptable in your sight. And as we have done it in wisdom according to your word, we receive the multiplied harvest according to your word. We invoke the power of multiplication in these offerings for the furtherance of the gospel. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. So there are few announcement which pay attention to
first is our one fifty days of prayer, and be wise. Join us. Then, if you don't have PCDL, please download PCDL Pastor Chris Digital Library. Listen to the messages. If you don't have our app, Christ Embassy India First Flies, please do so. Month of October is loaded. We have several programs. Seventeenth Teens Conference, twenty fourth Youth Conference, twenty ninth, thirty and thirty first Healing Stream with our dear man of God. Reverend Chris Rajkumar with the S C D D. Shall we stand up on our feet? Thank God for His love, for His mercies, for His grace, for His wisdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our my of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. for ever and ever in jesus name amen thank you god bless you tell you never wisdom works subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon like comment and share thank you and god bless you